What's going on guys? It's been a while since I last worked on the car, so a lot kind of happened, a lot didn't happen kind of thing. You'll see what I mean. Um, I got a buddy what helping up, me up? out. Can't even see you because the light. What up? You want to introduce yourself? Uh, that red Lensa. That's your Instagram? Yeah. Alright, I'll show you his ride. It's that right there. He, uh, he got into an uh, accident, just like I did actually, not too long ago. Yeah, so he's just helping me out real quick, because uh, I'll take all the help I can get. He's just drilling out some spot welds. I showed him what to do. It's almost done down there, and then we could take this whole part and throw it on the mine. Um, something I'm going to do while he's doing that is my fenders looked like this and a lot of Subarus actually look like this it's because all the mud if you could see it gets trapped in there rust it right out so I was using a tiny wire brush that you would attach to a drill and I bought this bad boy to go on the grinder and hopefully it goes well I've started it with the tiny brush and I'm gonna try to go all the way down and try to clean up whatever I can kind of thing um, I'm probably I'm probably gonna cut off like around here and like weld it together because my wheels with the spacers, thank you, rub it and they actually wore through my uh, fender liner and uh, rusted it out and well it didn't really do much, just surface but you know. So I'm gonna do that, uh, up to you guys when we got something cool to show you. Alright little update guys, my, uh, my buddy Adam, he had to leave. I managed to get the frame out. This is everything that got damaged on my car. So, with some persuasion, I got this quarter panel fender thing out and the whole pe whole unit thing in one piece to go on mine. You can see it will go up here and over and down and blah blah blah. So, what I'm gonna do is clean up the rust on this, like clean it all up. You see that right there? It's a little bit more rusty than I wanted, but it's going to have to do. Once that installed, once that's done, I can give it some primer and then throw it on here and uh, spot weld it, and that's great. While working on the car, I did notice an issue. So, I got this part all good. It's pretty good. I still have to cut this and then weld it if I'm going to do that. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, but I was going underneath here fixing let me get down well grinding away the rust and the previous owner loved to use the pinch metal pinch weld whatever you call it and I know a lot of people do that but I hate using it because it destroys it so you can see that and I noticed on the very back let me get back look at that look at that right there it's just, it just completely caved in and broke. So what I was doing, I'll point it out with my trusty Sharpie, is I spotted some rust right here. So I started grinding it away. And if you look, those are welds. Those are welds right there. Sorry for being shaky on one, on, I'm on one arm. But they, they, I know the car's in an accident. I don't know if it got hit here. And they basically cut this out and welded it in. You can see the body filler. You can see the where they welded it. And it was rusting right here. Good job to the body shop that did that. I don't know what that is. I don't know if they just burned through it and just said screw it and then welded it. But you can see where they welded. It just completely broke. Completely. So that's disappointing. That being said, I don't think I'm going to bother fixing the rust on this. It's um, It'd almost be better just to let it be and let it rust out. And then, and then just eventually, if I want to make it better, just cut the whole section out and put a new piece in. That's what it's seeming like. But I will still fix this up because I don't want to have to deal with this all this in the future. So I'll fix that up. So something you guys may have noticed, if you can see it, is this is my old hood. Uh, and instead of just throwing it out, I thought of repurposing it. So my lovely girlfriend, thanks babe, she drew a list of to-dos. 
and you can barely see it because of the light it's kind of hard to focus but you can see there's a lot to do <laughs> some of it's not really necessary but some of it I like to do so, so I can check some stuff off like remove all broken parts I can just uh, that's done drill out spot welds uh, replace coolant manifold. That's done. Uh, that's done. Drop trimmer, replace front support, body fill. I'm working on that. Extend out two wires. That's later. Install radiator, AC. I'm working on the uh, re remove rust and well weld bed liner. That's fine. Well, that's it. But that's what I got done so far. So. <laughs> Lots to go. I forgot to mention, to get this piece off in one piece and not have to drill more spot welds, I did have to remove the bash bar, as you can see. So it took uh, three 14 mils on the top and one 12 mil. So on two sides, that's eight bolts holding it in. Is it? Yeah, that's eight bolts. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, just to let you guys know, that's what I had to do to get in one piece, but just, you know, just sharing. What's going on guys it's back what's going on guys it's been a while since i actually last recorded a video actually i think it's been a week since i last recorded in general or a week and a half but uh i've done some work on the car and yesterday was my birthday so i took a day off i was gonna record and work yesterday but i'm like nah it's my birthday i turned 21 so it's pretty cool i actually got a lot done um i'll show you in a second um some news is i've started parting out the parts car so what that means is I'm making some money back now like today I'm gonna have a couple people pick up some parts so I have to remove that well I have to test the parts because they're motors and stuff for the windows so I gotta test that but I'll show you real quick what I've done so far okay so I got the top radio support out I think I recorded that last time and what I did is I took the wire brush that I have for the grinder just down here and I got rid of a lot of the rust like this was pretty bad if you could focus and this you know like parts like here were bad but i've been tacking it in the tacks are not amazing yeah i'm not proud of them but i mean i don't have much adjustment on this welder like realistically i don't even know if you can see this can you see that yeah there's on and off minimum and maximum for voltage so in the beginning i had it at max i didn't realize so that kind of screwed me over and then tension, yeah, I don't know. And then this is my only dial I can use for changing the speed. And I have it lower now because it's been working better. Um, I did have to take the bash bar off again to put it on. But you can see here too, uh, the tacks, again, they're not amazing. A couple of them I'm going to go over, like this one. It's good. Yeah, this is nasty. This is really gross. I'm actually disappointed in myself with that. But I'm just gonna grind it off and put some body fill on it or something. Just you know, I don't, I don't care honestly. Like at this point, I just need the car going, running, and I just need something to get around. If I wanted it to be pretty, I would tube the entire thing, and this would be tubbed. <laughs> you know, that'd be sick. But I'm not wasting my time on that right now, at least. I I'm finished school, so I need a car to get around. Um, I even painted this, but I should have waited because. <laughs> Because as I weld, it actually heats up and it bubbles and it just destroys the paint. And I, I waste my time doing it, so I'm going to have to redo it. I'm going to do this black again, so it's hidden. I'm going to do parts of this black over here. Do some of that. Other than that, like, it's on there. Like, this is... I'm moving the car right now, so it's on there. I'm actually really impressed with myself. Uh, I never knew I could do this. I'm actually... It just shows you how easy it is to fix a car, as long as you have the tools, obviously. Um, it's been a learning process, that's for sure. <clears throat> but uh, I, was, I just went out and bought some tools. I'll show you what I got. So I stopped on my local Canadian Tire. Fun fact, I used to work there. It was horrible. But I picked this bad boy up because I needed, I believe, a T60 or a T70 uh, Torx bit to remove the uh, drain plug for the transmission. So this was on sale for $27. Uh, I was going to spend $10 just for one bit. So I just bought this. I also... Doo -doo -doo, I bought some Flex. 0.03 wire. Um, it's pretty good. I just got one pound. I could have got two pounds, but I felt a little cheap today. 
and I bought this rust converter because this side it's not coming out too well whereas the other side came out very well this side I don't know it's just it's it's like the rust acted different and it just went in deeper so I just I'm gonna grind off what I can with the wire wheel and then I will just do my best to clean it up um, for this video though, what I would like to, I don't know, I'm not worried too much about that. What I'd like to do is get this done. I'm going to also take some parts off of that. I'm probably not going to record that. It's not important. It's just, you know, just maybe I'll show you the parts when I take it off. I'd like to get this all tacked because what I got left to do is just over here. These last couple ones. A couple up here. I'm using my welding jacket actually to keep the engine from getting stuff on anything plastic. And down below, there's a lot actually. That was not gonna be fun. We have to like lay down and do it or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have to beat that into beat that in there because it kind of deformed a little bit when taking it out. That's no big deal though. I'll fix it. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, hopefully the next clip you'll see something kind of cool. All right, I'm back. I uh, got the parts off the car. I'll show you them real quick. Um, so right here. The engine bay is looking pretty empty, as you can tell. And the first part was this motor for the mirror, not the mirror, the window. The second part is this intake manifold. So that took me the longest. The motor took me a little while because because uh, I couldn't um, I can't I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't find a video. I just found videos about Foresters. But something I'm back to doing now is the tack bolts. So I just did these last two. This one, eh, that was whatever. This one turned out a little bit better. I turned it down some more, and you could see right there. See that bubble? I'll point at it right for you. That bubble right there. You see it? That is caused from that is caused from the paint heating up, and then it well, it's not heat proof. So basically, you're just ruining the paint job I did. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Uh, I would like to get them all done today, and then if I have time, I'll grind them flush, and then I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll paint it again. I don't know. So stay tuned. What's going on, guys? It's a new day, so I wanted to get this done yesterday with all the tacks. What happened was the guy that came to pick up one of the parts, he wanted a, a window motor, and he wanted it for a Forester, so he said driver door, so I gave him the driver door. Turns out the Forester, they swapped the motors. So the driver door for me works for his passenger, whereas my passenger works for his driver. So we had to then take out that one. And then the guy stayed for three hours just talking. So that was cool, but I needed to get to work. So I just finished all the tacks. They look like shit. You can see that. Down here, down there, there, up here. That's horrible. Up here, line the sides. Can't really see that. And the one that was the most pain, yes, was overhead, which was right here. These overhead ones, these were horrible. But they got better because I ended up swapping the wire because I ended up buying some Lincoln Electric 0.03 uh, wire. It's in the machine now. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can't even see it, but that, that's the that's the wire spool, whatever, it's kind of tiny. It's only, I only bought a pound. It's tempted by two pounds, but whatever. So what I'm going to do now is use my handy dandy grinder. Uh, it's not a cutting wheel, so everyone freaking out. That's it. There you go. And we're putting these on, because safety first, and I don't need to destroy my eyes, since I'm only 21 now, since my birthday was May 2nd, it's May the 4th now. And after this... I'm watching Star Wars, so I need these to protect my eyes so I can watch some Star Wars. So I'll get to that, and I'll let you guys know when that's done. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a video. I ended up getting rained out. Um, yeah, it's not as bad as it was. Earlier it got really bad and it got really cold, so I just called it quits for the day. Also, I need to get some hearing protection before I go deaf. He was using this thing. On this is like killing me. I'm, I'm literally going to go deaf, so I need to use it. But I'll show you what I've gotten done. I've gotten some stuff smoothened out. So this is like kind of like before. Well, that's more of a before. That one's going to be tricky to get, but 
All right, I got this a little bit, but I didn't get full penetration on this one. You can see. So I'm gonna go over it just to make sure I get full penetration. So. You know, I don't have to worry about water getting there or ruining it or anything. And I think over here, yeah, I have a little bit of, I didn't fill it enough. I might just throw some body filler in that and call it a day. But other than that, it's pretty good. I got here all smoothing out. Honestly, I'm not going to be too, too picky with it. I just, as long as it's not this gauging, like this huge pile of shitty shit like that. The bottom, I'm going to lazy out though. Um, I'm prob Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is just using the wire wheel and cleaning it up so it's a clean surface and then throwing some black silicone or something on it and then covering that in a bed liner because that's what I got bought. I'm also going to put the bed liner on that. I might trim this a bit. Still deciding. But... Uh, that's the plans so what I'm gonna do also this wheel sucks this one it's a piece of shit uh, it takes forever just to grind anything down it could be the quality of the disc I'm not too sure but I'm gonna call it the end of a video I hope you guys enjoy it uh, I'm gonna go watch Star Wars now because <laughs> well I'm gonna edit this and then watch Star Wars because you know it's you know, it's why not it's May the 4th so if you guys like the video like it leave a comment if you like something or you have some kind of recommendation or something i'm doing right or wrong you know i'm open to opinions and if honestly if you want to continue seeing the build just hit the subscribe button thank you take care guys take it easy